Zuck the cuck drinks water like a duck, but he also drinks your data. So tell him and Google to shove your data up their swing swings by downloading the Brave browser. It's free, blocks online advertising, and protects your privacy and data from evil tech companies. You only see ads if you want to see them, and you get cryptocurrency for your attention. Don't let Zuck use you to make a buck. Download Brave by clicking on the link down below. Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am going to charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Oh, it doesn't stop. It never stops. The day it stops is the day I die. Assholeconsulting.com. Go there if you want truth, honesty, and forthrightness delivered by the world's only professional asshole that everyone loves to hate, me. Hi, Cappy. Please do not reuse my real name nor the details. Um, my question is, well, I got I to gotta use some details here. What are good dating strategies for mid-30-something? Shall we leave it that way? A uh, black Latina who's divorced with three kids. <laughs> what a good dating strategy. <laughs> we'll read on and you'll, you'll hear. <clears throat> Here are the details. I was married for a while and had three kids until I was divorced a while ago. To say I was shocked was an understatement. However, I did some soul searching and realized the mistakes I made as best as I know. Went to therapy, worked on these issues, hit the gym. There you go. That the number of problems that will go away in the world if women make themselves thin again is huge. Your husbands won't cheat on you. They won't have wandering eyes. They'll be happier. I know, I know. But it, what, what you did here, and this is why I made this uh, heavily discounted for you, you admitted you were wrong. You admitted that maybe there were some areas that you needed to improve upon. And it's such a rare thing among people today. That's why I gave you the discount. Uh, and you, you don't want me to give the details, but this is an admirable accomplishment. You went to overweight to in shape, if I can put it that way. Um, <clears throat> you own a company now. Uh, you maintain peace with the ex-husband for the sake of the kids. That's good. I mean, as good as it can be being divorced and all. Uh, currently, my um, sons live with him and his full-time wife because I feel they need their father more during their teenage years, and he can be a model, or he can model a family life for them with his new wife. They would be with me during summers. I, sweetheart, you uh, you are right, but again, it takes an incredible, like, real courage. Not all, all women are brave and courageous because you woke up this morning. Did you have coffee? You're brave. Did you take a shit? You're courageous. That is the standards for women today to be brave and courageous. This, I don't know, what, what would it take? Uh, I guess bravery and courage to do that. To so What you did was selflessness. You put your kids first and removed yourself, what, what you wanted, and put what was in the best interest of the kids. And I think that's a pretty good deal for as much as it can be, where the, the kids, when they're their teenage years, are with their dad. Uh, this currently leaves me with time to date and find a partner. I'm a conservative woman. I could cook. I have my own apartment. No debt. Yes. Um, and I believe in traditional marriage roles. I know my market value is on the low end, but what is a good strategy in searching for a husband in this situation? I would love to find a black man, but they are rare here. Where? They are? I don't want to give where you are, but can't you just drive in any direction and you'll find a couple? It, it doesn't seem to me that area would be, I mean, you're not in the deep south and you're not in south side Chicago, but there's got to be some black guys out there, I'd imagine. I would love to find a black man. I'm open to any race, though, as long as our values align. Would an older gentleman, 50 and older, make sense? If so, how do I find him? All right. <clears throat> well, Cappy, going to give it. Lay down the wisdom here, Cappy. Lay down the wisdom. Here's what I'm going to do. This is for all the black ladies or Latina ladies, but more black if you really want to find a black guy, okay? There is one place I have gone through my escapades of traveling where not only there have regularly been black men, but high quality black men. And by high quality, I mean high income earners. Uh, they're perfect for your age. They're, uh, you're, you're in your mid-30s, so your mid-30s and up. 
they are very well off, and they are also very polished gentlemen. Uh, they're they're interesting. Uh, they're interesting cats, to use the vernacular. And the reason they're interesting cats is because these guys have gone through. I, I don't want to mention, but I've. It's common to find retired football players, investment bankers, uh, the high quality cachet of men, black or not in general, but black men are are here. And that is the cigar lounge. You will not find a higher quality, uh, or uh, wait, wait, wait. you are not going to find a higher concentration of high quality black men than you will the cigar lounge. Because in order to be in the cigar lounge, cigars are not cheap; they're very expensive. Uh, so you have to have some kind of income. Also, to appreciate a cigar, uh, you can't just be some dopey kid walking in off the street. Look at me. <laughs> breathing it in, wondering why you're throwing up later. Uh, it's a screening mechanism. If you're smoking cigars and you do like cigars, you're probably a more mature man, a wiser man, and an accomplished man. I was even talking, I go to a cigar lounge, and I ended up talking to a guy who is 60, um, runs his own, own business, and he has even outridden me on motorcycles. Just a very interesting guy. It wasn't black, but it doesn't matter. Whole point is, if you're looking for really interesting men who are well-to-do, and don't give me this show, it smells like cigar smoke. Yes, yes it does. Us youngins, when we were going to the nightclubs, we didn't like the loud blaring noise or the cigarette smoke either, but we went there. Now we don't anymore because we're men and we're, now it's like, now you come to us. Uh, you are going to have to endure the cigar smoke. What I would recommend you do is you embrace it and maybe pick up the habit of smoking cigars. You might enjoy it. Or tobacco, pipe tobacco. Um, that's common there too. So that's the silver bullet. That is worth driving to. I know in your area there's got to be some. And that's where the guys are. That's where the high quality 30, 30 somethings on the low end. Uh, those are the youngins. I'm still a youngin at the cigar lounges I go to. Um, but you're established, world's most interesting man, that touch of gray type of guys, which is why I think you're looking for. That's where you're going to find them. Disproportionately black, uh, but of all races, if you're, willing to, if you're willing to slum it with us white guys. Uh, now, regardless, I know that you want black, uh, but regardless of race, whichever one you choose, there, there's nothing you can really do that you haven't done already to uh, compensate for the fact that you essentially gave your best years to somebody else, all right? Uh, and your single mom, to be blunt and honest. Uh, so the fact that your kids are out of the house, that's a selling point. Uh, the fact that not little cretins run around puking all over the place, that's another selling point. Um, the fact that you've had this epiphany and woken the fuck up, and like, oh, I'm not the center of the universe, and I really got it, and now you want to be a traditional woman? That's in your favor, too. I would, I mean, don't mention, by the way, I want to get married and, and be a traditional housewife. Don't lead with that. But definitely put that on your dating profiles. And whenever you are talking with a man, they're going to, you know, you're on a date or whatever, uh, you're going to have to be forthright with, yeah, I have kids. Yeah, I'm divorced. Uh, and Tell them what exactly what you told me in your email request, and that is, yeah, I had to, I had some problems and I had to figure some things out and look at myself critically. So I lost the weight. I understand that, you know, I really just want to be a, a traditional woman. Uh, and that, that'll that get you points. One, admitting you're wrong, and two, that you want to be a traditional woman. And I, I believe you're being honest with yourself. I have no reason to doubt that's what you want. And then uh, it's kind of where the chips will fall where they may. Um, as for finding other black men, if you really want to target that demographic, I would also try and find Republican uh, black men or conservative black men or libertarian black men. Um, you can go and join different groups. Uh, I'm sure there's, within the area you're in that's populated enough, you'll probably find that there might be a meetup group, you know, black conservatives or something like that, or black libertarian, simply not black leftists. You'll be able to find it. Um, and that will do a screening process uh, if you're looking for that, you know, upper class black guy. Um, but at the same time, those standards you apply are going to apply to all the races generally. And you never know. You might, you might find a, a white guy or a Latino guy or an Asian guy. You know, 
you seem open to it, but I understand you kind of like, no, I really want a black guy. I'm just trying to help you out. Uh, but at 30 something, almost slipped. Uh, it, it's going to be an uphill battle, dear. Um, ideally, you'd find a guy who's been divorced by a cruel, evil woman. Uh, that might be possible in the area you're in. And them being divorced might be in your favor because they'll be like, damn it, I just want a traditional woman because the vast majority of women that are divorcing their husbands, I do not think are like, well, I want to stay at home and raise the kids. I just don't see it that way. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not that it's the perfect variable to go by, but if they're simply not leftists, that could be said of anyone, you're going to be a higher quality person. I'm not saying you got to go join the Republican Party either. But, you know, pick up golf. Um... I've noticed the brothers really like golf. That's another place you can find uh, a lot of black dudes. Um, and they... <laughs> there's some mouthy little teeny bopper girl. And, oh my gosh, she's talking leftist politics. And, and this black guy is like... Turns out he was making... like Oh, he was a weapons contractor. That's what he was making. Shit ton of money. And he's like, fuck that shit. I like, I like my money. <laughs> so... If you don't, that's a real quick way to screen out what you don't want. And you want to find a black guy. It cuts the chase real quick if you're going to go targeting conservative or at least not leftist black men. Uh, because not only usually they're going to be more financially well off, um, but they're also going to be interesting and unique. Because to, to become a conservative black person in general, male or female, uh, takes a Herculean level of true independent thought. It takes a lot of intelligence because of the cacophony and the brainwashing you're getting. So this is just a theory of mine, but it's proven true when I've seen it out in the real world, is when you meet a black conservative male, he is not only usually um, really smart, he is a very extreme conservative. He is like, fuck the ghetto and fuck those Uncle Toms and they really hate the Democrat Party. And they're very much against uh, gay marriage. And I mean, it, it, I'm more libertarian. I'm like, whoa, okay, no, I for the low taxes. But I mean, you know, can't you let the gay people be? Um, you'll find very traditional. A lot of these guys came from the ghetto themselves, too. And they hated coming from a broken home or a dysfunctional family. So there's a group of them in there. Just be prepared. You know, like you go in there and say, I just want to be a traditional wife and support my man. They're going to be suspicious of you at first, like, yeah, okay, but, um, yeah, that's, I think, using the politics, using the events like cigar smoking or golf, don't go polo, I don't know, I never went polo, i never seen anyone play in polo. There was one place in Milwaukee where they were playing it, but it, it looked like poor man's polo, there wasn't, wasn't a lot of fancy cars at the field, um, but yeah, that's that's way. And then be prepared to be let down. You are uh, a black Latina, middle thirties. You got three kids. You are going. You are operating from a deficit. You are coming from behind. And uh, you can go older. You know, would an older gentleman, fifth or older, make sense? Well, it depends. Do you like the guy? I mean, um, I. It's kind of funny. I talked. I got a client. She's 18. She wants to find a traditional guy. And I'm like, okay, well, what's your age range? You're like, oh, up to 50. I'm like, really? You want to go that old? Oh, no, as long as I'm like, might be able to help you there. <clears throat> um, but yeah, as long as you're attracted to him, it doesn't really matter. Um, and older guys, you know, tickety talk on their ticker. They they'll probably be like, yeah, I'm dating a 35 year old. They kind of understand. They've been through the divorce record too. Um, yeah, and as long as your values align, yeah, you almost are going to have to go political or traditionalism, which Venn diagrams with politics rather well. But especially on your dating profile and when you're dating, be forthright and upfront. Like, no, I want traditionalism. Um, that will shoot a, a flare into the sky and get all the right guys' attention when you say, I want to get married, I want to stay at home, be the housewife, and no debt. You're, you know, certainly promote those things. You're a business owner. You have, I mean, really, you want, here, oh, don't put, I like to travel. Don't, don't put that. Say, no debt. 
I, I would lead with that. That's what I do in your dating profile. I have no debt. No debt. You put that thing first right there. I bet you the smart guys be like, hang on now, what? <laughs> you could put no debt, love to have threesomes with hot chicks, um, no kids, big boobs. If you list no debt, that's what's going to stand out the most of that. You can say rocket scientist, but if you say no debt, the guys you're going for, the high quality guys go, hang on, what, what was that? Oh, um, you know, that's like, we have ice cream, but this one has chocolate syrup with it. It's like, oh, uh, yes, lead with no debt. There you go. And, and so you've done as much work as you can cleaning up your own life and making it uh, optimized as possible. Cigar lounges, pick up golf. I'm trying to think anything. Jazz. Jazz is another. Uh, the brothers hang out at jazz clubs. Again, refined, polished, talented musicians. Usually, at least they appreciate music. That's a, a third place maybe to go. Um, and then when you're online and dating, no debt. Hi, my name is I Have No Debt. You don't even have a name no more. Your, your name is No Debt. That's your name. That's how you introduce yourself. Uh, and then be very forthright and blunt with what you want online. And, and then that's all you can do. That's all you can really do. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, links to everything down below. We'll catch you guys later. Toodles.